You are watching Ballistic Hockey Boy. Hey guys, welcome to BCB. This episode, I'm so excited to show you the Atari 50 Deluxe Home Arcade by Arcade One Up and Atari. So uh, this is a uh, device that's come out recently. Um, my neighbor actually um, helped me out with this, so I'll go into that here in a minute. Just want to let you know, um, I do include full assembly of this cabinet. It is about 10 to 12 or 15 minutes or so of me doing that. Feel free to skip ahead. Um, I'll put the point down below that you can skip ahead for the actual review part of the cab. So once it's put together, um, this is after my first impression. So over the past um, three, four days, I've had with this cabinet. So and I've played all the games and I've got some definitive uh, uh, opinions about this cab. Um, as you probably know, I do think it's amazing. I think it's cool. It's actually right behind me right here um, with my other cab. So um, anyway, so stay tuned for BCB as I look at the Atari 50 Deluxe Home Arcade by Arcade 1UP. Stay tuned, guys. Okay, you guys. So I am so freaked out. So my neighbor uh, ordered the Atari 50 cabinet. You can see here. I've got to put it together and stuff. Um, Anyway, he ordered it because he wanted my centipede machine back there. And we're going to do an even trade. So I think that's a pretty good trade, in my opinion. Um, he knows what an Atari freak I am. I mean, I have a channel dedicated to it. So this episode, I'm going to be uh, taking a look at the Atari 50 uh, Home Arcade by um, Arcade 1UP at Atari. And I can't wait uh, to get this thing up and do a first impression. So stay tuned. Bolton Brothers, I'm cracking the seal. Let's go ahead. Welcome back guys, BCB here, your host. So I'm gonna dig right in. So first of all, I've got the assembly and kind of explanations of how I got this cab. Here you go. Oh my God, it's here. I had no idea this was coming today. So this is the Atari 50 uh, Arcade 1UP Deluxe home arcade uh, with the vault special edition and 50 games which is awesome uh, plus the 15 core game so we have like 65 games here I cannot wait to open this you guys here's just a little overview of the box with some information light at marquee all that stuff you get a little plaque which is cool or a little placard uh, I am so excited to open this as a big Atari fan as you know uh, I've been yeah, I've been dying to tell you guys this was coming. So my neighbor actually uh, going to trade this with me for another one, and I'll go into that. But I uh, just want to show you the box here. Really cool. I, I just cannot wait to open this. I'm glad it looks um, like it arrived undamaged. So really happy about that. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you get this beast open. Um, I had to use a knife and all kinds of stuff. I was trying to protect the box a little bit. Uh, I probably will keep it because I'm weird, but anyway, so we got the instructions here, and this does take probably a couple of hours to put together, 
I put together a few of these already. Um, so, and I can feel the weight of that plate in here they were talking about. Let's move my stuff out of the way. So they were saying that there was a commemorative plate in here or something. Let me go ahead and rip this open here. Ugh. Ah. Golly. They have a lot of glue on this box too. It was hard to open it. So we got the setup manual here, which goes into detail on how to put this together, which I'm going to need. I also power up my hand drill just to drill a couple of spots that are kind of hard, but I'm kind of good at it. I don't recommend you doing that. And here we have a guide to all the games. Pretty cool. In different languages. And we got uh, the English version of what's in the vault. Pretty cool. Really neat. And in here we have our certificate of authenticity, uh, which is, this is like metal. It feels really good in the hand. So, um, and this goes on the cab. Pretty sure. Let's go ahead and take this out. Sorry, I have nobody filming this for me, so just to bear with me for a second. And here's the little placard. Very neat. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and this goes on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put together. So I will see you a couple hours later. Probably be darker outside by then and I'll probably be a little tired, but um, I can't wait to get this thing out of here. There's all kinds of boxes that's got all the stuff in it, the screens in here, everything. So um, I'm going to get started. So I just unwrapped the um, front panel, the joystick and the spinner, and I can tell this lights up and the volcano buttons light up, and this is going to be awesome. Also, I was realizing as I was unboxing this um, that the edges of a lot of stuff have this gold finish, which I wasn't expecting, which I kind of like that kind of reflective gold finish. It's kind of cool um, and retro-y. Anyway, let me know what you think so far. <sighs> Make sure to put a couple of hours aside for this because it is involved. And I got the marquee here. Very sweet. I love this. So this is going to look so awesome. Wow. Okay, this is basically all the hardware you get. I just dumped it out of the package. See all the trash that accumulates. Um, it's nice to have someone around to help you piece that together. Um, if you do, the screen says, don't return to the store, activate the warranty, all that stuff. So stuff I'm used to, but this has no riser with it because it's a deluxe, so it should be taller. So this might be easier to put together. So uh, maybe I'll finish sooner than two and a half hours or something anyway. Uh, let's get started. Okay, the very first step in the assembly guide is to put pegs in these boards. Just want to show you this real quick. It does lay out all the parts too and everything. Uh, then you connect the bottom or whatever and go from there. Just like I'm used to in the past with RK one ups, um, nothing seems out of the ordinary here. Um, pretty straightforward. The screen assembly. Um, yeah, those pieces for the top. That part right there always stresses me out because it doesn't always fit in exactly right. Right there, you really have to be careful with this part and it's very kind of flimsy until you put the other side on the top. So this part here always stresses me out, my arcade. It always stresses me out. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but yeah, you gotta make sure it's all lined up and all that before you put this piece on. And then once that piece is on, it's kind of a walk in the park. So so to speak. Um, so that's where you put the joystick area in, connect the sound and all that, and then you're done. So no riser to put together in this, which I am excited about. So let's get started with that assembly for the Arcade 50 Arcade 1UP Deluxe The Vault Special Edition. Home arcade cabinet. Woo! A lot to say.
Wow, we got the marquee, guys. Look, so awesome. So I wanted to say, uh, this cab took me about two hours to put together, um, all said and done. Of course, I had a little coffee break in the middle. Um, and this is kind of similar to cabs in the past. However, this is two halves that you actually put together, which is kind of like the eye arcade behind me as well, how that was assembled. Um, so this is a change for the deluxe cab, um, I guess. I never had a deluxe cab, so. Um, so yeah, just making sure this thing is screwed down. Now, putting the other side of this thing on, can be kind of interesting and uh, frustrating for some, um, but you really got to make sure everything is lined up. So, um, so here we are. We're going to put this other piece on top of this piece according to the instructions, and uh, bolt it down. So, here we go. Thankfully, we have some spare parts because I found I was missing one peg right here. I don't know where it is. I uh, probably dropped it, but um, so thankfully we have spare parts. But. Uh, yeah, definitely cool. This thing is taking shape and I'm loving it so far. I'm loving the gold accents. Right here, You, one of my favorite parts, you rip the screen protector off of the screen on this thing. Now, some people, um, I think P-dubs or someone mentioned unscrewing the screws because some of the stuff gets stuck behind the screws on the screen and you'll see that happen to me. So I might do that in the future. But yeah, yeah you would need to unscrew the front just to get the rest out. I love how the speakers are also gold up there. That's really neat. Just lots of accents on this thing that I'm really enjoying while I'm putting this together. So it's kind of funny. Uh, when I'm unboxing this, I'm having car issues, so I don't have a car right now. So it's a perfect time to get this thing. All right, guys, we're pretty much good to go. Um, I just need to move stuff around and put this cab where it goes. And I can't wait to get to that gameplay and review. Here we go. All right, guys, so we are here doing my gameplay and review of this awesome cabinet. So just to overview the outside of the cabinet real quick, and I'll read you also what's on the Atari website about this cab. It says, over 50 classic games. Atari has partnered with the RK Reproduction Specialists at RK 1UP on this 50th anniversary deluxe arcade machine, exclusively available at Atari.com. Packed with the games that defined Atari's history, this machine celebrates Atari's semi-centennial anniversary with a curated arcade collection. It includes 14 arcade classics and 50 Atari 2600 games, the largest selection of the game titles to be released on an RK 1UP deluxe machine yet. And I am just in love with this thing. I love the startup screen right here. Very cool. Um, I love how the control panel lights up and there's a switch for that as well. So you could turn that off. That's really handy. Um, a lot of people complained of the garish design of this thing. I actually like it. Once you have it back in your arcades, I mean, you can't really see the side, right? Um, here I am setting up the Wi-Fi, which was pretty simple. And um, I found my username 
was taken, which is weird. So I think I'm the only one that uses it. So I had to come up with another one. But uh, pretty straightforward and easy. And you could do it all from the control panel, which is cool. So I wanted to also read you product details on this. It's over five feet tall, 17 inch color screen, four control panels, two speakers, upgraded joysticks and on off light up buttons. Light up marquee, 3D molded light up coin doors, includes online leaderboards. That's what we're setting this up for right now. So once you get this set up, you'll have access to online leaderboards and you can post your scores for the 14 core games. Um, so, uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, now it does not include leaderboards for the Atari 2600 games, which I'll go through as well. And I'll play one or two of those too. So here I am setting up my name and seeing it's taken. <laughs> anyway, so I had to come up with a different one. But definitely loving this cab so far. The home screen is very much like the Centipede Legacy I have. Mostly the same games, except Aqua R is new on here. Of course, you got some cool options. Screen smoothing and all that stuff. So you want to... I keep that off. So, um, But uh, pretty neat. So let me type in my passwords and stuff here. Here we go. Cool. So I'm going to dig into these games here. Again, this is kind of just like my Centipede Legacy. Um, we have the same... Um, games on this and I'll go through them one by one. I'm loving the light up control deck. It looks really good at night. The volcano buttons, uh, the joystick on the side. A lot of people said it was too close to the side. It's fine to me. I don't notice any kind of my hand fits in there just perfectly. So I don't really have a problem with that. So you could scan the QR code and go online and register this through their app and all other kinds of stuff. So very convenient. I love how they've integrated that um, into the setup process. So I'm going to black this out here so you don't see my info. Uh, but just making sure this is all set up and ready to go. I did have to go through this a couple of times. I think it, it may have been my Wi-Fi though. But it's very simple. So you can also add favorites to that list too. So we got some cool games. We got Centipede, Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Liberator, and Lunar Lander. Um, definitely cool games. I'm going to go through here. Um, now, whenever this is connected to the leaderboard, you will see the scores on the right hand side. So it's still not connected. So let me power this thing off and come back to it. And uh, we'll take a look at it here. There's the on off switch. I have the light button on. So the lights just come on automatically when it starts up. But uh, yeah, this thing is beautiful. I am loving it. And yes, there are, you know, those those 14 RK games on this and 50 Atari 2600 games. Those 2600 games also include um, a prototype that was never released and some other, and I think a couple, um, Save Mary as well, which I think was out on the flashbacks though, so, um, but really neat. Um, so there is some exclusivity to this cab with what's included. So next, we're going to take a look at the Atari games that are included. Let's get that up here. So, okay. Okay, now I'm getting this all set up with the leaderboard. It's really cool. It took me it took me three tries because my, my Wi-Fi. So here we go. We got uh, Tempest, Aka R, Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe. This is the third screen, of course. Let's go back to the first. So we got Centipede, Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Liberator, Lunar Lander, classic games major havoc millipede missile command space duel and super breakout tempest aqua r asteroids asteroids deluxe and atari 2600 so when we go in here and take a look at these games you'll see that we have our own little atari menu here and the game descriptions off to the right and you move this up and down with either the control stick the trackball or whatever i think it works with everything so pretty neat um so lots of cool games here lots of classics of course coming down seen this stuff before but they're great now i do see something different here we have save mary secret quest we got some cool games up there we also have telepathy which was um unreleased and yars revenge of course so i'm going to go in here and play a little uh yars revenge here so the second player button is used to start the game 
I think all these games are one player only from my understanding and the first button is used to select between levels so um, that may change in the future I'm not sure but um, I'm fine with that because I live alone I don't really need two players on these games um, plus they're you know they are um, typically one player Atari games the games they put on here so um, but uh, loving the control panel um, everything is laid out nicely um, really cool to play this at night too so okay I'm gonna play this again I tried filming this with one hand and I didn't do that well so I'm gonna try it again Yes. <laughs> Love it. So <clears throat> just looking at this cab again, looking at the speakers. Love the little gold trim on those. Really nice. I do need to unscrew those screws and take that plastic off the front, but um, I am loving the cab, guys. <clears throat> Especially at night, as I said, it just the thing just glows if you have the front panel turned on. Um, again, you know, we've got 12 classic RK games. We've got, I'm sorry, we have 14 classic RK games. We've got 50 great Atari 2600 games. And I am just over the moon with this thing. Um, I did see some kind of negative reviews before this thing came out and some negativity in the, in the RK1 community about it. I think it's a great cab. Um, I, I'm not seeing any problems at all. I think the screen even looks better than on my Centipede. There's no weird blurriness when you move to the left or the right, like on my Pac-Mania sometimes. Um, there's not as much uh, light bleed through on that on that blank dark screen. So I think they're, they are trying to improve the screen quality on these. I'm not sure exactly what they're using, but you know, um, I definitely can tell. Um, <clears throat> so just taking a look at the games here again, I'm going to play one or two of these for you and um, a couple of the Atari 2600 games, specifically maybe the unreleased games. Um, but again, these are mostly the same games that are on my centipede, except for Aka R, which is on my Tempest. So here is the Atari 2600 menu again. Um, so just to be a little more thorough with this, um, sometimes when you are um, scrolling down, the buttons can be really sensitive, so you, it might skip. So you do just need to hit it once, really. So, um, but I'm gonna go through here so you can see these again. I love how there's descriptions off to the right. I also noticed, uh, you know, of course, lots of classics. We do have some later games as well that we don't see that often, like Double Dunk and Sprint Master and all that. So I'm glad that Bowling is on here. I'm glad that Haunted House is on here. Um, I like Motor Rodeo as well. Um, glad that Quadrun is on here. Saboteur, one of my favorites. Here's Save Mary, Secret Quest, and Skin Diver. Um, coming down again. See, it skipped that screen. So coming down again, we have uh, Solaris, Sprint Master. Whoops. Star Raider, Steeplechase, Submarine Commander, Super Breakout, the three Sword Quest games, Earthworld, Fireworld, Waterworld, Telepathy, Tempest, Tic-Tac-Toe 3D, Wizard, and Yars Revenge. Really cool. So let's come up here to Telepathy. It says, a unreleased prototype demo created for the failed Mindlink controller. You can still play the game using a regular joystick and buttons. You work your way through four mines that have multiple mazes, enemies, and traps. So I can't wait to play this. Guys, I've never played this before. So I did feature the mine link on my Atari Obscurities episode of BCB. This was a few months ago. Go check that out. I do talk about the mine link. So uh, let's go ahead and listen to this gameplay and watch this footage of this cool unreleased game. You're supposed to use your mind with this with a peripheral. Um, pretty interesting. I guess it was supposed to read your <laughs> what you wanted to do. I'm not sure, but...
Well, this is actually a lot of fun. I like this game for an Atari game. It definitely has some layers to it. It's got, it's like three or four games in one, like Pigs in Space that I reviewed recently on Expresso um, on my game review show. This is really neat. So again, I've never played this. So this is another reason to get this cab. It's got this cool game on it that you may have never played. Um, and it's pretty fun. I love the background to this. Look at that. I can't believe this This was unreleased. I mean, it's it's pretty fun to me for an Atari 2600 game. Now here's another level. This kind of reminds me of Adventures of Tron with the elevators. Basically, you're gonna go down and you're trying not to get swept back to the top, which is harder than it looks. And you're supposed to do this with your mind? I mean, that seems pretty hardcore. But I'm so glad to have this here. Um, it's definitely a great addition to this cabinet to have some rarities on here. We also, like I said, have Save Mary on here, which is uh, rare. It came out on the flashback, but I think it was unreleased back in the day. And that's a fun game as well. That's actually being released by Atari as an Atari XP cart right now. So a physical cart for that game, which it never had. So this is one of the reasons why I love Atari XP for doing that. Um, they they've also are putting out Berserk and, Out and Outlaw Special Edition. So really fun game. I love Telepathy. So overall, after spending a few days with this cab, I am just, I'm constantly finding myself drawn to it to play these games. I love them. This is also kind of a cool showpiece if you have other arcades. This is really cool. I think it's the first time RK one up has ever put console games and especially 50 on one of their arcades i think that's unheard of for them um of course the um at games legends ultimate has a bunch of arcade games on it or i'm sorry a bunch of console games as well um but it's cool to see here so what i'm gonna do um i want to kind of play i want to show you me using the trackball and the spinner on this thing they work really well the spinner works great the trackball works great um, so I'll probably play Centipede, maybe another one here in a minute, but I wanted to also show you how this thing scrolls with the trackball. You can scroll through these menus with the trackball or with the joystick and, um, really neat. So I love the descriptions on the side, as I said. So I really like this has its own interface, uh, press player two to quit back to the main menu, of course, right there. Um, so I'm just going through these one by one again, so you can see these again, um, these included these 50 Atari 2600 games. Again, they're all classics. Everything from Crystal Castles to Dark Chambers to Desert Falcon, which I love, um, to Haunted House, um, even Human Cannibal, Miniature Golf, <laughs> Missile Command, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Othello, Radar Lock, Their Secret Quest, and Skin Diver, and Save Mary. Who doesn't love Solaris? Um, great game. Star Raiders, a classic. Super Breakout, Sword Quest, of course. Here's Tempest, Telepathy, Tic-Tac-Toe again, Wizard, and Yars Revenge. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go play some Centipede. So um, and I want to show you just how amazing this trackball works. Look at this 
panel. I just love it. Um, so again, I'm showing you the placement of my hand on here. I definitely have just enough room. It, it's not cramping. It doesn't bother me. I'm not trying to position my hand anyway. This is how I play. So um, I think it's fine. I don't see a problem with the um, joystick being that close to the edge. I know a lot of people had said it was. It looks like a problem, but it's fine with me. Um, I love the trackball. So let's go ahead and play maybe some centipede and I can show you how to use all these different uh, peripherals on here. Here's the spinner and there's the live button that takes you to the leaderboards off and on. The other button is to turn the panel off and on the lights. And of course, volume player one, player two, volcano buttons. Really cool, loving it. I also noticed there are some extra blank cartridges in there. I wonder if they'll be putting more games on here, who knows? That's kind of conspicuous, right? So let's go ahead and play. I think I'm gonna play a little Asteroids here. Um, and then I'll go on to some Centipede and another one to test out everything. So here we go, I'll be quiet so you can listen.
So after the past few days, I definitely have to give this cab high rank. Um, definitely want to give it an A+. I've had no problems with it at all. Everything works great. The lights are great. The sound is great. <clears throat> the joystick positioning is fine with me. I love the design, the gold accents. Definitely a cabinet for an arc for an Atari fan, Atari Arcade and 2600, definitely you owe it to yourself to get this cabinet today. It's great. Excellent, guys. Let me know what you think about this cabinet. As I said, I love it. Um, I think this cabinet has some great features and it uh, looks good. And um, I'm, I'm happy with it back here. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Subscribe, like, and comment for more Atari news, uh, information, reviews all the time on my channel. All Atari all the time. Stay tuned, guys. And uh, you guys have a great one. Get your Java. Be a good person. And go play some freaking Atari. We'll see you later. Bye now.
You are, you are watching, watching Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.